Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, and peace and blessings, fam. Juma Mubarak, Juma Mubarak, Juma Mubarak. Shout out to the kings, shout out to the kings. Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom to the Hebrew Israelites, my brothers and sisters out there. Shout out to my family, Long Beach, shout out to family all over the world. Peace and blessings. Hey, once again, I noticed that you guys are feeling a little antsy, looking a little antsy, looking a little restless. Like you want to know what the THC is going to talk about this time. So, won't you do me one? One, one, big brave. Uh, go take a walk with THC with the village. Let's do this. And you know what I'm talking about. Back in the 70s, the early 80s, I was a young kid growing up in Eastside Long Beach, California. LBC. I became awakened because I gained knowledge itself. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, and tasting it. Okay, TAC fam, what's crack a -lackin'? Hey, enjoying this Friday. I'm all geared up. Um, I haven't walked this path before, so this is kind of new to me. As you can see, you got a lot of housing development here. Things are, uh, I'm trying not to film these girls coming. Stand by. I'm going to try to angle this camera away from them. You know? And when you're doing blogging out here in Africa and different places, be careful uh, when you're filming people, especially women. They don't like that stuff. All right. Salam. So, yeah, be careful with that. Some of them do. They don't mind, but ask permission. But, yeah, you know, enjoy this Friday walk. You know, the King's panel is going to be full effect. Uh, maybe even starting tonight, I'm going to have a live you know, to show you guys what's going on. Um, marriage, dating, African women and stuff like that. I'm not really going to talk about. People are going to date. But there's a different types of dates that I'm talking about. So, kind of with the muhram, hopefully, uh, halal type of way when you have somebody, a uh, family member, joining you and the young lady. So, that's what I'm talking about. Something that's going to be into leading to marriage. But people still ask me about dating African women. And so I don't know if that's if I'm gonna get into that, but we'll see. So um, especially on <coughs> in today's day today's days, you know how things are going. I don't know what this is, but this is nice. Look at this fence. This fence is nice. This gators. Whoa. The gators on call too. This is a high fence right here, family. I'm not gonna show you where I'm at. I go to different areas and stuff. I'm kind of private, so any Gambians, I like the Gambians to guess where we at, where I'm at, and what we, where I'm filming. So, that's yeah, nice. Look at that. It's big, big, huge gate here. Wow. So, uh, so long, like, I'm gonna be doing. Um, so right now, and like I say, you go to the up and downs of. Uh, of living abroad, living in the continent. And, you know, right now I'm in the ups, upper stages, upper uh, feel good stage right now because I, I, jumped, I dumped a lot of baggage off of my uh, shoulders recently. You know, things that would be, things that are necessary, should have been done a long time ago. And I was neglected to do so because I'm such a nice guy. You know, nice guys finish last, man. I'll tell you this much. 
out here you really got to put your foot down and let people know what you're about before they play little silly games and that's what I'm about I'm about being real so that's what it is so today's Friday it's Juma I'm loving it I'm loving the heat out here like I said I love the humidity I love the heat you know when I was in Asia I love the heat when I was living out there when it was a time for the heat okay yes back again I didn't want to film some people but there's a lot of construction going on in this area this is not necessarily a village area it's a residential area and uh, lots of people a lot of people here are building um, they don't even live in the Gambia a lot of Gambians don't even live here see like this construction site right here it's big big huge uh, project but a lot of people don't even live here they live abroad a lot of Gambians live abroad and then they build while they're while they overseas and they let their families uh, live in the residence while they're gone you know so you know I'm thinking there's a lot of money coming in and out of Gambia but a lot of Gambians don't get it from what I heard I'm not saying this is true but this is what I heard so they do a lot of investing from the outside they make their money from abroad from the outside I didn't get you <laughs> See, she covered her face. She thought I was filming her, but I didn't get her. Um, anyway, uh, I wasn't filming her. But I haven't done this in a while, so I told you, I promised you guys on the last live that I would do a lot more filming around the areas. And what I mentioned that hey, you gotta have, you gotta be real hardcore. You know, you gotta set your presence here and make sure that you know you're not you're forced to be reckoned with. And because, like I said, people still will see you as an outsider. You never really belong into the here until you intermarry, and intermarriage, and have kids and all that. Okay, and then there's still a little bit of a struggle for some people, you know, to 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 get totally uh, to inseminate totally here to, 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 to be accepted into this culture. So learning the language, I'm picking up the language a lot better. And uh, now people are trying to tell me to, to learn Wolof, so I'm gonna start that a little bit again. But uh, Mandinka and Fula is what I'm learning right now. <laughs> and look at these blocks. Nice blocks. How, are you still walking with me? Come on now, keep, keep it up. Slowing down, getting lazy as usual. So, so yeah, so this is what I'm doing. You know, I like the way these white and brown and blue whatever thobes you know these are very comfortable for me and you do get a certain amount of respect uh they think i'm a ustav and i've been called a fula a few times but i don't do things like i don't wear these to be recognized religiously and all that just uh, or a certain to be part of a certain tribe because what i'm wearing right here is actually from oman this whole outfit that I have is for my mind. Let me show it to you guys. Okay, so this is uh, a kufi. And you can see down here. They call this a, this dasha. And they have this satchel right here. Uh, right here. So this is what, it's a style. This is an Omani style. A lot of East Africans wear it from Kenya, Tanzania. And so that's what we wear. And uh, uh, And yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Today is Friday, it's Juma. Uh, you know, we all do a lot of sinning throughout the week. Hopefully my sins will be cleansed from this Friday, from the last Friday to this Friday, inshallah. And uh, we can only do the best we can as, as mankind. But like I said, yeah. All right, so it was great walking and talking with you guys i'm gonna do more of these i'm gonna get back into this to this you know to that little groove that i was in um because people have been asking to see more of the villages and areas so i'm gonna do that okay all right assalamu alaikum peace be upon you come on now knowledge yourself huh became awakened and peace and blessings let's do this peace back in the 70s the early 80s. I was a young kid growing up in Eastside Long Beach, California. L.B.C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge of self. 
about the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it.